statements or lines of code can be repeated with a for loop. So if you have the, say, the function call hello or function call print, you can repeat that using a for loop. So you use a certain counter in a for loop. So let's say i, variable i, and let's say from 0 to 10, and then run this block of code, which is just one line. If you run it, you'll see it's executed 10 times, roughly. Now you can output the, the counting variable i, and you'll see from 0 to 10, 0 to 9, which is 10 times. And you can have multiple lines of code here. So you can have a block of code and this block of code will be repeated. So you'll see this block of code will be repeated 10 times. Now you, this way you can make the computer repeat lines of code. So you can make it count to, for example, 1000. If you run it, you'll see it counted to 1000. So every number in is in there is there. And this is how you just repeat code. Now this also works with lists. So if you have a list of items, I don't know, some list. And you could say for user in users, or whichever you want to use as name a single element, and then output that. And so if you were to run it, you'll see those elements. So a for loop can be used to repeat codes. And you can have, of course, several for loops in your program. So you could have uh, a for loop here and output something there and then you could have another for loop and so on so you can have as many for loops as you want in your program and you'll see now we have it twice you can also have for loops inside for loops That will execute um, just many times. And so if you were to run it, you'll see sort of a coordinate here that repeats. So if you want, you can add a comma here. And you'll see we go over a two-dimensional space. So that's basically how you use for loops 